Uh, yeah, well, it's pretty fascinating. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's <laughs> yeah. a lot of stuff to talk about in it, you know, definitely. Right, right. Um, so is that why you're interested in it, because it's, it's a, a, such a basic topic to, to people? Yeah, I think that's, that's it. And, uh, well, it's, again, you know, uh, what I was talking about, about being human or, or, you know, sort of understanding what, how you function as a human being like you know memory is essential i mean you cannot really live without memory you know i mean you can go through kind of mindless things without memory you know but you wouldn't know why you did it and you wouldn't know what's going to happen afterwards and you wouldn't retain anything mm -hmm. you know I, I mean you'd kind of be a little bit like a vegetable if you didn't have memory you know, uh, and so I, but what I was interested in primarily as an art piece was the way that um, memory in your mind is like a sculptural form, you know, and that, for instance, there was a quote by Michelangelo, attributed to Michelangelo, that uh, the form is already in the stone, all I do is reveal it, and what I was looking at was I was looking at the mind and the memory as this form that I was trying to reveal. So what I one of the first pieces I did based on that idea was I, I worked with these very old people uh, that were like in their 90s and I asked them to remember their childhood hometown and from what they could tell me about their childhood hometown as I was interviewing them and talking to them. I would be making these drawings and uh, I was actually making a little sculptural piece of the town as they were talking. And so I would try to create a map and I called these memory maps and, and they would be very personal. Of course, they would have really very little to do well, they have a little bit to do with the real place, but it had more to do with the person that was telling it, mm -hmm. you know, because it was their very personal kind of view of it. Like their little neighborhood would be extremely detailed, and then yeah. you go out from their neighborhood, and it gets less and less, you know, until they're really not sure, you know, where the town hall was exactly, but, but, but they know where, you know, uh, Aunt Mabel's house was, you know, or something.